Greetings, this is Stephen V. Richardson and welcome to your business growth tip of the day. I'm gonna make a statement and I'm gonna leave off a word at the very end and I want you to say that word out loud, okay? If you're in sales, if you're in recruiting, if your position has to do with interacting with others, where at the end of the day, you want them to do something, maybe buy your product or service, maybe agree to do something, maybe to become a business partner. Some people will tell you yes, and most people will tell you, what word did you say? Some people will tell you yes, most people will tell you. Now, most people when asked that question will answer, well, most people tell me no. That's a lie. It's not the truth. Think about it. Think about all the people who you've interacted with. And think of the people who, for whatever reason, decided not to allow you to help them by buying your product or service or not doing what you wanted or offered to do. Did they actually tell you no? Did they actually say the words no? Odds are they didn't. Odds are they gave you a reason. Some people might call it an excuse. Some people might call it giving you an objection. And that's how the, let's just say, interaction ended. It did not end in the word no. Now, why is that so important? It's important because there's a big difference between no and seems a little expensive. There's a huge difference between no and I don't have any money right now. There's a big difference between no and I don't have the time. I'm already doing it. I don't know who you are, therefore I don't trust you. There's a big difference between what people think others are saying or what people hear and what is actually the case. Now for, for today's conversation, I'm gonna leave it there. I want you to ponder on what is really happening at the end of interactions when the other person decides to go in a different direction. Are they really saying no? Are they really just crying for help, asking for more information, asking for more understanding so that they can, at the end of the day, agree to allow you to help them? Now, in future conversations, we'll talk about how to let's just say, prevent most of those objections or questions from even coming up in the first place. But for today, really think about how many people have really told you no. And if not, what were they telling you? This has been your Business Growth Tip of the Day. We'll see you next time.